feeling larger than life? Maybe it's time for life reception, or maybe not. Um, okay, today I'll be talking about the dangerous aspects of life reception. Okay, I've been doing extensive research on life reception for a couple of weeks now. So most of you probably have seen or heard the TV show called Nip Tuck. And this show is solely centered around the um, idea that liposuction gives off, um, the idea that lipo is what you need in order for you to look quote unquote normal or um, to achieve a better appearance for the public. So um, there are still some negative aspects to it and I will address them today. Okay, uh, I will reveal to you the risks, the side effects, and the discomforts of liposuction. First, I'm going to begin by telling you about a few of the risks of liposuction. Okay. One of the most important factors that one should take under consideration is um, the risk that can occur during the surgery. And um, according to a website source called DocShop.com, um, there are internal risks that can occur during the process of liposuction. Um, the first risk I will discuss is blood clots. Um, blood clots happen um, in your body when it is linked with prolonged surgery and excessive surgical trauma. And um, here is a so this is a diagram of a blood clot, and what happens is that um, the the valve it gets small when they do like surgical, like when um, doctors, surgeons do um, liposuction around the leg and um, this causes the blood flow to stop and um, it's like, it can happen, it's not, it's kind of rare but it, it is a risk that can happen during the process of liposuction. Okay, and then, um, oh sorry, okay, you can turn it on, okay, um, yeah, okay, so anesthesia is also, um, <coughs> it's, Anesthesia is used to um, help patients relax and feel um, more like better about like while they're doing their surgery. But um, anesthesia can also be an, um, bad because people can have negative reactions to anesthesia. And um, patients sometimes, when they have bad negative reactions to anesthesia, they can um, they can oh it can possibly lead to death or cardiac arrest. And um, some other risks that are um, present during liposuction are um, permanent nerve damage and damage to the vital organs. Okay, DocShop also states that some of the severe risks that can happen um, during the surgery or after is fainting after the surgery, and um, another risk is extended healing time, so some people might not heal as fast as others. And um, allergic reactions to the medications for the afterwards, and then um, okay. Now that you are more well aware, more well aware of the risks that can occur with liposuction, I will introduce to you the side effects of this procedure. Um, the side effects are somewhat similar to the risks that can happen, but a little bit different. So, along with the harmful risks, there are also side effects that it can occur long after or right long long after or right after the um, procedure is done. According to a specialized and certified website of liposuction called liposuction.com, it states that minor complications can um, arise, such as dense, discolored skin, lumps, bruises, and saggy skin. The saggy skin is, um, occurs when the skin around, the, oh, the skin sags when, um, in the area where the surgery was done because um, it, when, when they suck out the fat, then your skin yeah, tends to sag afterwards. And um, this color, okay. Okay, um, you can also experience major bruising where it can turn really like purple and green. Okay, and um, after surgery, numbing of the skin can also occur where you can't feel like um, the nerves around your skin where you got the procedure done. And um, other moderate problems are um, discoloration in the skin with like your skin pigmentation and stuff. So here is some of the side effects. Okay, so this is um, 
a uh, girl who got liposuction done under her lower back, and these are the stitches that remain under there. And the scars will um, reduce like eventually, but um, there it, it still is like present. And this is someone who got liposuction, and um, her this is bent in the skin right here, and the sagging of course happens after. That's another side effect of it. And then, um, yeah. Okay. Lastly, I would like to discuss the possible discomforts that can follow after having liposuction. Okay, as you can see, there are many painful side effects and risks to liposuction. Added to these side effects um, and risks, there are also some discomforts that a patient can experience during and after the procedure. According to another authorized website called lipoinfo.com, this website states that during the days and even weeks after the surgery, um, the level of soreness and tenderness as well as swelling are the big factors that employees focus on in intending for your body. So um, soreness is a big inconvenience and can last two to four days um, after the surgery, and this is the minimum. And after these couple of days, the soreness will begin to decrease slowly but steadily. And um, the average amount of time the tenderness and soreness is still present lasts about four to eight weeks on average. And the discomfort after surgery is somewhat mild due to the anesthesia left in the body after the surgery. But patients can still um, feel a lot of uncomfort um, if not taking medication. Okay. After the um, use of local anesthesia, patients will rarely need more medication. However, um, with the use of general anesthesia, the pain is much more um, intense and is likely to increase afterwards. And um, you must also wear compression garments so that your skin won't sag or that the stitches won't come undone. And here is um, a picture of a girl who got um, liposuction and this is the compression garments that the surgeon um, gave to her so that her skin won't sag or her stitches won't come undone. Okay, and um, resting is also a big part of the healing process. You'll be able to take part in daily activities such as driving or um, like house chores around the house and stuff, basic ones. And um, so these are just a few of the negative aspects that can occur with liposuction. Today I've gone over some of the risks, the side effects, and the discomforts and inconveniences of undergoing liposuction. So the next time you're watching Nip Tuck or reading about this procedure or even considering liposuction, just remember the downsides that can occur with altering your body. So Beatrice, what did you think? I think, yeah, you need to practice a little bit and plan what you're going to do. You kind of have them in your hand or in the wrong spot. Well, I, I know you're there somewhere. There you are. <laughs> and so it looks a little awkward when you're handling them. I thought the introduction was fine. You had a good, clear thesis statement. Um, look, work a little bit more on the justification. The preview was very solid. Uh, you did a good job citing the supporting material. Um, <coughs> I, you know, there are some things I think you need a little bit more complete explanation on, uh, but uh, the visuals that you had were, were solid. The first one I didn't think was explained nearly as well as the uh, last two were. On the presentation, uh, you're a little bit off balance. You have very good audience contact, and I mentioned get the, uh, get the transparencies out of your hand. Uh, and I thought you had a very good summary at the end of the presentation. All right, I'm sorry if it seems a little rushed, but that's the way